when you have to do something really hard, yeah, like fire somebody yeah. who you've known for a long time, how do you mentally prepare for that? Um, my um, I, so I I do a minute or two of sitting meditation in the office before mm -hmm. the difficult meeting. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to come to the room early, even five minutes early. Mm -hmm. I'll try to set up the room, make sure it's clean and make sure I feel comfortable there. Then I'll sit there for just one or two minutes. And what I'm trying to do is like connect to my body, mm -hmm. to feel my heart, feel my stomach, feel my seat on the chair and kind of ground my awareness, my mind, my chatter, my worry, mm -hmm. my thinking, you know, mm -hmm. process, dialogue with my physical body. And what that does for me is basically help me um, when the person comes in to see them <clears throat> for who they are, see them where they are, because I've sort of grounded myself in a way. So could you walk us through just the steps of your process there? Because I sort of get at an abstract level what you're doing. Yeah. I'm not clear I could do it. So if if you were you know if you were I'm coaching, sure you could do it, <laughs> but if you were just coaching me right, and you yeah. said, okay, you're going into this really difficult meeting, yeah, you know, why don't you try this? Yeah. Step one, do this. Step okay, two, let's that, do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Ready? All right. So imagine in five minutes, uh, your co-founder is coming into the room, yeah. and you have to tell them that they're fired. Right. One of, if not the most difficult conversation you'll have in this startup. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten into the room early. We've set it up in a way that we feel like it's a, you know, it's clean. The whiteboards are clean. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like settled. So then I just want you to sit in your chair. And if you like, you can sit upright. You can sit relaxed. It doesn't really matter. Right. But the most important thing is just to bring your awareness from your brain, your mm -hmm. skull, where most of our, you know, we're so visual. You could close your eyes if you like. But if it helps you, bring your awareness from your head down into your body, into your heart. Like literally, very simply, operationally, mechanically speaking, mm -hmm. what does your chest feel like right now? Mm -hmm. Is it tight? Is it tight? Is it loose? Yeah. Is it, what does it feel like? Mm -hmm. Just whatever that is. Right. And then bring your awareness down to your belly. What does that feel like? Can you actually feel your body breathing? Can you mm -hmm. feel that feeling of your belly and your chest expanding and contracting? And then your seat, which is like your, your foundation. Can you feel your seat? Can you feel your hips? Can you feel your buttocks? Now when we look up, mm -hmm. you know, the perspective has changed, hmm. right? Our mind is no longer it, the full 100% of your awareness. Your awareness is your whole body. And now when the person comes in, you know it's going to be hard, even just imagining it. Right. I, I feel my heart tightening up. I feel my stomach tightening up. But at least now you, you're ready. Mm -hmm. You've prepared a little bit. So you're not just like, wow, all over mm -hmm. the person. But what you're not doing, which is really interesting to me, is you're not going through in your head, okay, first I'm going to say this, and if he or she says that, then I'm going to do that. And, you know, you're not sort of strategizing. You're not. I, I, I think at this point, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, maybe you've done that beforehand. Oh, right. Coming into the meeting, you've certainly prepared right. um, for what you can say and what you can't say. Mm -hmm. And you've, you've done the compensation package discussion and you know what forms they need to sign and you've yeah. talked with the board a number of times about that. Like there's no surprises. You've done all that yeah. normal homework, but, and that will get you far. But I think what I'm really going for is like having a genuine human interaction with this person. Mm -hmm. As much of a sign of respect for them and for our relationship mm -hmm. as I'm just trying to try to cross this off my list as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, the charge that builds up in your body just says, 
I really want to get this done. I just want to get through it. Yeah. And then that's a normal thing, but like that then cascades. So mm -hmm. that suddenly everything is just, I want to get through this, I want to get through this, I want to get through this, I want to mm -hmm. get through this. And you're just crossing things off your list right. until you realize, oh, <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> I've done all the things. I've crossed everything off my list. I've been so efficient. Yeah. I've got, I've gotten it all done. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. What a sad way to live. You've mm -hmm. missed your whole life because you've been so busy crossing things off your list. Yeah. But here you are, this person, you've built this company is coming in to have this interaction with you. Unless you could sit up and be there with them mm -hmm. and feel what's going on with you, then I don't think you really You've experienced it. I don't think you've experienced it. And I think mm -hmm. you're doing them a disservice, and I think you're doing yourself a disservice.